Hi everyone, my name is Marjo. Thank you so much for joining me. So for today's video, I just thought of sitting down here and showing you and talking to you about some of the things that I bought during the month of August. So this is going to be a small mini haul kind of video and also a mini unboxing video. I'm so excited for this baby right here. So we're going to see and yeah. If you're interested, please keep watching. We can be wild. In no particular order, I'm gonna start with this. This is my linen blend jumpsuit, and I got this from H&M. It's the size UK6. Uh, I was not sure which size to get, so I got this in UK6. So I should have gotten it in UK4. I think that would have been perfect because this is a little big on me. But I love linen and I love natural neutral colors like this and so when i saw this online i was like i need to get this and then i kept thinking about it thinking about it and finally i was like okay fine i'm just getting it because i couldn't stop thinking about it so this is my in the jumpsuit now the next thing i want to talk about is this beautiful pair of shoes right here so here's a sad story I saw them online, I completely fell in love and I kept thinking about whether to get them or not to get them and I finally decided to get them and a week after I got them, they were on sale for literally half the price and I internally died. I thought of, I even thought of returning them so that I could get them uh, with the discounted price but I didn't want to go through all the trouble of returning them again buying them again so i talked myself out of it and now i have these but no regrets i'm gonna wear them so much they are going to become my summer essential shoes so these shoes have uh, are white in color and they have this woven heel right here it is so similar to my espadrilles and i love my espadrilles so i know i'm going to love wearing them so much so no regrets. Up, so, I'm gonna be talking about uh, this concealer right here. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I tried this on today, and uh, if I may say so, it's not exactly full coverage. It's more of a light to medium coverage concealer. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, if you apply it, it doesn't feel tacky. It doesn't feel dry. It does a fine job of, you know, covering your dark circles and uh, kind of like the skin looks glowy after you put this. So it's not a bad concealer. I really like this and I can see myself reaching out to, for this uh for my everyday makeup looks or you know for something that is light and natural because this is really good uh but if i had to pick between this or choose between this and my maybelline fit me concealer i would definitely go for the maybelline fit me concealer because i feel like it has a little bit more of a coverage compared to this uh but i will still use this no doubt i have to because i spent my money on it Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this uh, Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip in uh, the shade Red Star Tip Effects. Um, I have never worn red lipstick in my life. I feel like I'm not confident enough to wear red lipstick. But I really wanted to have one red lipstick in my collection and I thought that this was perfect. This is not a matte lipstick. This is a velvet finish lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick. And... Uh, uh, let me just try it on for you guys. So I'm just gonna wipe whatever lipstick that is I'm wearing. Hopefully it looks good on me. It smells really good. I don't know how to apply lipstick evenly. I'm so sorry. But this is what it looks like on me. And I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Does it look good? It's not uh, truly a red shade, but mm, it's a red shade with uh, a brown undertone, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely not a true red. I should have done this at the end so that I don't look like a fool. Now that I put it on, I'm just going to leave it as it is. So yeah, this is the shade. 
in red restorative effects. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not a matte finish, so I like it. It's comfortable, and I can fully, like, comfortably lip, uh, you know, move my lips. So, yeah. Not bad formula, but I'm not sure about the shade. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this right here. This is the Philips uh, Satinel Essential Corded Compact Epilator. If you don't know what an epilator is, an epilator is uh, a machine that helps remove the hair from the body. Okay, uh, so this is what it looks like. This is the epilator and it comes with a small brush like this to help clean or remove the hair stuck in between and here's the cord. You cannot use this on your own, uh, on its own. You have to connect it to you know a circuit and after that you only then you can use it. So also it uh this is also there inside the box. What it does is that, is that you can insert it uh, into the applicator like this for a more precise uh, appli yeah, applicator. Oh, well. I'm, not, I, I'm not a big fan of shaving. I don't like shaving. So what I normally do to remove uh, hair on my body is by waxing. And uh, waxing is time consuming. So I thought that, you know, I really need to get it and I did. And let me tell you, I don't regret it at all. At first, it looks intimida intimidating. Like, I'll show you how it works. So like, you connect it like this. And once you turn it on, <laughs> this is the adjuster, okay? So you can adjust the speed of the epilator. I know it looks intimidating but let me just explain to you. It's not that hard to use and it's not painful. If you can deal with waxing, the pain that comes with waxing, then this is also similar. All right. Now the way this works is that you see this tiny plate here. Like as, you, as this rotates, it opens and closes. All right. So when it like when you put this on your skin what it ha what happens is that the plate will open and then it will close on its own so it kind of like moves like this all right so it will close on your hair and as it moves and rotates it will pull the hair as it rotates so it's kind of like plucking the hair from within but at a very fast rate so if you are okay with plucking then you will be fine with this as well now what you have to remember is, when you use an epilator, don't press it so hard on your skin. You have to be gentle. If you press it hard on your skin, uh, your skin will also be, what, clipped in between the plates, right? Of the plates or whatever, I'm just calling them plates, okay? So when, once it gets, you know, in between uh, the plates, obviously it will hurt, right? So don't uh, press the epilator too hard on your skin. Just be gentle, okay? And then it just works like magic it removes it just doesn't even take a minute or two minutes to remove all every single hair in whatever region you're using this for so this is really good a very good alternative to waxing shaving because shaving doesn't really remove the hair from inside it just removes the surface hair and uh, waxing is messy and time consuming so the next option is this i really really yeah, I really, really encourage you to try an epilator. Yeah, invest in a good epilator. Uh, I will link whatever I bought uh, in the down in the description box, so make sure you check them out. Oh, one thing, don't use this in sensitive areas. You know what I'm talking about, right? Because I think that would be painful. <laughs> so don't use it in sensitive areas. Uh, what else? Hmm. I don't regret buying this. I'm going to use this for so long. Also, if you're a neat freak like me, don't worry. You can remove the head. You can wash it. And again, you can put them back like this. It's very easy to use. Now, let's unbox this baby right here. Okay. Uh, surprisingly, this reached so soon. It just took around 4 or 5 days to 
get to me and I did not expect that. Alright. Okay. Okay. So, here I have some basic crop tops. Nobody's interested, I know, but I just want to show you uh, everything that I got. So, here is a basic white crop top similar to the one i'm wearing yeah, i'm gonna be wearing this this is a basic piece and i just really needed a white basic piece like i do not have enough white tops already but yeah i really wanted to get one and so i did and i got the same one in a different color And the next one is a racer top. Racer top is so in right now. Everyone is wearing it. And I actually have one racer top which I got like four or five years ago. I still wear it. But I just thought I'd add to the collection and buy this. It doesn't cover much. right? So I might not wear this on its own. I might have to wear something on top. But this is also a great basic piece to have, so no regrets. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about is this. Best buy of this month. These are, oh, these are my Zara Tiny Kitten Heels. Look at them. They're so beautiful. I think this was the best purchase of this month. Also, they were on sale, which is great. The original price of this is 3000 I mean, 2990 And I got them for 1990 So, 1000 rupees discount, which is great. So, I wasn't lucky with this, but I was very lucky with this. <laughs> so, that is all for this month. Uh, hopefully, I don't spend any more money. I really need to start saving up uh, to buy a new camera and especially a new microphone because the area that I'm living in is so noisy. I'm just living like there are woods surrounding my house. Okay, so it gets so noisy. I cannot film during the afternoon because you can hear literally every car that's passing by. And yeah. That's the reason why I can only make or shoot videos during this time or on Sundays. Mm. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm sweating here. I can't even turn on the fan because it will harm the audio. So I really, really need that microphone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye! I, I, I was just doing my thing Saw you walk in with the gang Got a new